All right, let's build a pickup simulator for your beginner's pedal kit. Now this is a totally optional add-on. What it'll do is it'll add an additional circuit board that's gonna sit between your main circuit board and your foot switch circuit board. And what it will do is it will use the windings of a transformer, just one side of it, effectively a, an inductor, to simulate a guitar's pickups. Now, the reason this is optional is that the beginner's pedal kit uses a sort of vintage style fuzz circuit that um, you really wanna plug your guitar straight into it. That it has a low input impedance that's gonna load your pickups and that helps to form its like dark, low characteristic sound. Uh, if you put it after another pedal, on the other hand, especially if that pedal has a buffer, what's gonna happen is it's gonna make it sound a little more tinny, a little higher, it's gonna be a little bit more anemic. It's not gonna have that same characteristic sound. So by adding this pickup simulator, we're gonna allow you to put your beginner's pedal, uh, your, your beginner's pedal kit pedal anywhere in your signal chain. So to do that, what we're gonna do is, as you're building your beginner's pedal, uh, we get to page 16, and it wants you to take your circuit board here and add a ribbon to the top and add a ribbon to the bottom. But what we're gonna do instead is we are going to take the circuit board, we're gonna use a pin connector to connect this circuit board to it, and then we're gonna run the ribbon off of that circuit board. All right, so to get started with that, we're gonna go ahead and first just assemble all the components onto here. So you'll see, to build this, we have our transformer, and that's this right here. The transformer has two sides, the plain side, and then we have a P here for primary. We've got a trimmer, we've got a sliding switch, a capacitor, and a pin header here. Let's go ahead and push this out of the way. Now the order you choose to add these components is pretty arbitrary, but again, I like to build from shortest to tallest. So let's go ahead and uh, let's add this little switch right here. So I snap that switch into place. It'll only go one direction because you see it's not symmetrical in terms of the holes there. And this switch, what it's gonna allow you to do is emulate a humbucker, a single coil by using only half the windings, or bypass, which means the audio will just flow right past this and we will not do the pickup simulator. Um, so let's go ahead and flip that over and solder those joints. I'm going to go ahead and do these outer pins first. And these pins, their job is simply to hold the switch into place. It gives it a good, strong mechanical connection. The rest of these pins here are parts of the switch, like the poles that flip-flop back and forth. All right, I've got a little solder bridge there, so I'm gonna clean off my iron, just stick it in there and wick that solder away from that bridge. All right, let's take a closer look. Yep, those all look good. So next, uh, let's go ahead and let's put this capacitor on there. So it doesn't matter which direction you put this capacitor on, either way is fine. Okay, next let's install this trimmer here. And this trimmer acts as a variable resistor that adjusts the frequency of a low pass filter. Um, if you leave it right here in the middle where it's at, it's gonna be a good sensible middle of, the route, middle of the road option. If you want to get the most amount of sustain out of your pedal, you can go ahead and turn this all the way counterclockwise. Uh, that's my favorite setting. But don't worry about it too much right now because uh, you can adjust it and play with it after you get your pedal built and then decide where you like it. So I'll go ahead and flip that over, and solder those into place. All right, let's double check those joints, make sure they look good. 
and we're good to go. Okay, so next we're going to install the transformer, the audio transformer. Now, it's important that we put it in the correct direction. One side of it has a P on it for primary. So this P, this side, these three legs need to be on the side here that says P on the silk screen on the circuit board. The S is for the secondary, uh, and in this case it's just blank. So I'm going to put the legs in. Now you're going to find, I'll do this off camera here, you're going to find that these legs don't quite want to line up very neatly. Uh, so what you'll need to do is just bend them gently into place until they seat, all six legs seat into those holes. And then once you get those six legs seated in the holes, now we can press these uh, side support pieces in. Okay, with those in place, let's go ahead and solder those six joints. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and trim these leads off. Uh, I'm gonna put my finger over it so they don't go flying. Okay, our next step is to install this pin header. Now, if you weren't adding the pickup simulator kit, you would be putting this uh, wire, this ribbon cable, into the main circuit board and then attaching the foot switch to this other end of the ribbon cable. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to use this pin connector to connect this board to this board. And then we'll add our ribbon cable down here to connect to the foot switch. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the pin header. You'll see there's a, a long side and a short side. So put the short side into the main circuit board on top of that rectangle. And now we'll go ahead and Check it from the side and make sure it's a good 90 degree angle. And let's flip it over and solder it into place. If you're having trouble and it's uh, not wanting to stay, then just use some blue putty to hold it in place while we solder it. So I'm going to do just one pin first, and you'll see why in a moment. So now I'm going to flip it back to its side and make sure, do we have a good 90 degree angle between that pin and the circuit board? And in this case, we do. Now if we didn't have a good 90 degree angle, what I would do is I'd grab one of these pins over to the side, not the one I'm about to heat up, and then I'm gonna heat up this one pin. So I'll heat that, and now I have wiggle room to adjust that. I'll get it to a good 90 degree angle, remove the heat, let it cool, check it again. And actually, we just messed it up a little bit, so I'm gonna straighten it out, and I think that's good. So now I'm gonna go back and solder those other five joints. And after I do those other five joints, I'm gonna come back and do that first one again. And the reason is I was wiggling it around, which might have uh, compromised this, the integrity of that connection. I might actually have a cold joint. So let's get these other five done. Now I'm gonna go back and reflow this first one. Just heat it up, take it off, and that should be good. Now, our main circuit board has a pin connector sticking out of it. Now we're gonna come in with our, um, with this circuit board and let's just go ahead and slide that on. So just like that. Now we're gonna solder each of those six pins. Let me zoom in a bit here. Now you might've noticed that I've got potentiometers on my main board and that's just because I desoldered this from the pedal, a pre-built pedal. Yours won't have those potentiometers yet. I just didn't want to build a whole new kit from scratch, so I'm using a, a pre-built one. All right, so let's do all six of these pins. And you'll notice these pins are sticking up kind of high. And in the past, when we had something sticking out, we would trim it. But in this case, these pins are not going to touch anything. They're not going to be in the way of anything. So we're just going to let them be. We're going to let them be happy, tall pins here. Okay, now that we have our main board and our pickup simulator solder to that, let's go ahead and add the ribbon cable to this one. Now, in the past, we've always had a rectangle where we want that ribbon cable to be plugged into. Uh, but in this case, 
uh, at least this early version of this board, we don't have that rectangle on there. I'll fix that in future versions of the board. We'll make sure that's on there. But all you need to know is we're going to insert it into the top. So let's flip it over. And let's solder all six of those wires. I'm going to do the two outer ones to hold it in place first. Okay, now that we have the board built, we've got our pickup simulator in the middle, we've got a ribbon cable coming out of it. We're ready to pick up right where we left off on page 17 of our booklet. So now we can carry on and uh, add the foot switch to this. So go back to that other video and you can pick up there.